Welcome back to this series on how to build an amazing e-commerce website where you can cherry pick all the different pieces of information that you need. What are we doing today? Well, let's scoot over to a far more attractive man than I to tell you what we've already done and what we're doing today. Okay, last time we got our hosting, we got our domain name, we got WordPress installed, and we very easily managed to make our website look like this, which is quite fantastic. However, we of course need to work out how to amend and change this because this information was all populated not by us, but by the use of starter templates. So going back to our WordPress admin dashboard, this is where we're going to start from. We can come up to the left to what we've named our website, which is currently new e-commerce website. And we can just click on visit the site here. What that's gonna do is drop you through to that page that I literally just showed you so that what we can do is we can start to customize it or customize the website as a whole, which is actually what we're intending to do here. So we're gonna head up to this top bar and we're gonna click on customize. Now, what is the customizer going to do? Well, this is for making broad changes across your website. When you change one thing here, you can change it across multiple elements. I'll explain and show you. If we head across to the global controls just here, we can go to colors. So let's click on this. And we have a variety of different palette styles and palette colors. So if I click on style two, it's going to change the entire look of the entire website. So this isn't just a small change that we're making in one area. You see how it's changed every single button, all the bullet points, everything has been changed to match up to that palette. Then if we come back out of colors, we go to typography, it's exactly the same. As soon as we change one thing here, so let's, for example, select this particular button here, you see how we've changed the font there. But we've changed the font across the entire site, across every single page. Let's go across to the bicycles page. And you can see again, the font has been changed there as well. So anything we do in the customizer is changing everything across the website. So I'm just gonna put that back because I quite like the fonts that I was using and then head back to the home screen. The header builder here is actually going to be really important at a later date when we've got a few more pages. I'm gonna show you how to completely amend and change this header. That's going to be very important to you. The main thing to remember here is that anything that you do in the customizer is generally going to impact multiple areas of your website, whether that be colors, fonts, styles, or layouts, it's going to impact your whole website. If you want to impact just one area or a small element, you need to do that through the pages editor. If you are thinking that maybe I don't have time for this or my skill level isn't maybe at quite this level yet, that's completely fine. You have a couple of options. Firstly, get subscribed to the channel so that you can learn more and become that WordPress expert if that's what you want. Or alternatively, if you want some help from the professionals, check out WP Beginner Professional Services. You can do that by hitting the link down in the top pin comment or in the description where our team of WordPress experts are gonna be able to help you out with everything from building your website to SEO, and of course, your speeds, your security, anything like that. So check those out if you do want that little bit of extra professional help. So let's do that. Let's look at editing some pages. And I'm gonna start with our contact us page. It's just a little bit of a simpler page to show you exactly what's going on. So this is our contact us page, and I'm just gonna come here to edit page instead of customize. You can also do this from your WordPress admin dashboard from the pages section, and you can edit from there. So once you've clicked edit, you'll get brought here. Now it obviously looks very, very similar, but where you are right now is in the Gutenberg blocks editor. And this is going to allow you to edit every different element of this particular page or every single block. For example, we've got this picture right here, which if we click on it, we can see all of the details on the right hand side and how to edit that. So we can now come across to the style 
and you can see we've got the image here and we can just choose to change that image. So from here, we're in the media library and this is showing all of the media that we have available. So this is all the images that are currently on our website, absolutely anywhere. So we can select a new one. You can see the one we've got here or we can come across to upload files and we can choose a new one from our computer or just drag and drop one in. So I can just select files and it'll bring me up here. And this is the image I want right there. So I can click on this image, open, and this will import the image to my media library so that I can use it. So you can see now we have our brand new image just here. We can adjust the position because the image is slightly too big for the space. So you can put in a different size image or it does give you the option to adjust the position there. And again, of course, doesn't have to be bikes. Put in whatever suits you, whatever your brand is selling. However, what I also wanna show you as we scroll down here, are uh, just how easy it is to change things. So we have here the contact details. If you want to change any of this, which of course you're going to want to, you can just click on it and you can just change the text. So I can change that to find us if I'd like to. I can obviously change the address to whatever I want it to be. Let me just delete and type. It's really quite that simple. Something that I do want to show you a little bit later is also this here. So this is a contact form, essentially. It's really important to your business, to any e-commerce website. However, this right now is not really doing a lot. And what we want is an actual, really powerful contact form. So I'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute once we're done editing pages. Once we're done with this, we can save it just up the top right here. That's going to save all of our changes and we can head across and view the page, see what it looks like in real time. And this is now what we have. So you can see we have the contact us with the heading. And then as you scroll down, you can see the small amendments and edits that we made. Now, of course, you can go into crazy detail and you want to in order to make this match your brand perfectly. Um, but I don't want to sit here and show you every single little word that you can change because it's not going to be relevant to you specifically. But let's have a look at a couple of other things we can do on the homepage. Now we're back on the homepage. We of course want to go back to this edit page option just here, and we can start to amend and edit different areas. So again, text is easy. Click on text, delete and add. And then what I'm actually going to look at now is these buttons. So the buy now button that's just here, if I click on it, we can come across to the content and we can actually link that out. So currently that is not linked to anything, which is obviously a little bit of a disaster because we want people to go across and potentially buy this bike. So what is the site where the page we're going to link it to? Well, it's whatever the sales page is. So let's find that. So from the main page, I can just navigate. I'm going to navigate to bicycles, which again, you should edit to whatever suits you, clothes, t-shirts, new shoes, anything like that. And then come down here to bicycles. This is the one that's on the main page. So I can click here. Here we have this particular bike. People can even go ahead and buy it. And then all I need is to grab the URL, which is this one just here. I'm going to copy it, go back over to my edit page and add that in as a link and save. So now I'm starting to populate links and make all of my different areas of the website actually link to each other. I've saved that. So let's check it out. We're going to click on buy now. And that takes us straight through to here where we can start to make sales. And that really is, is how easy it is to start adding links to your products from any page. This is, of course, from the home page, but you can do it from absolutely anywhere. This one here, discover the collection for mountain bikes, the explore now button. We're going to click on it, come across here to the link section in the right hand side. And now what we're going to want for here is, of course, a link to all of the bicycles. So let's go back to the bicycles page, copy the URL and just paste it into here. Save. And now we have another completely active link that we can use to send people to buy things. Let's check it out. Scroll down, find that link, explore now, 
And where's it going to take us? Of course, it is going to take us to the right screen, all of the bikes that are available. So all I'm trying to tell you here is really to get inquisitive, get creative, click on different elements and see what areas you want to change and amend in order to make this very personal and very you, whether that be text, whether that be links or pictures, you can change absolutely all of it by simply clicking and finding the element that you like. Now, this is essentially the same for the products themselves. Now, of course, we have pages to edit and we have the products. So let's go into the bicycle section of the website. Let's select our bicycle. And you can see that what we've actually got here is the option has changed. We're now going to be editing the product. We can also do this from our WordPress admin dashboard, going across to the WooCommerce section just here and clicking on products. This is going to give us all the options for the products that are currently available. And also it's going to allow us to add new ones. So you can see all of the different products we currently have available and in stock. Let's take a look at that bike there by just clicking on edit. Now you may notice that this page looks a little different to the pages that we were editing earlier. And that's because by default, WooCommerce uses the classic editor. It just means you're not seeing exactly what you're going to see on your website directly on the screen in front of you, but it all works very much the same way. So what we can do is we can add the product description just here add in the details, the title of the item here, and then down you have the product data. So what is the price? So let's change that. Let's make this an awful lot more expensive. Let's give it a thousand dollars and then also give it a sale price. We can then go down to the inventory. Does it have a SKU number? Like if you are managing stock, you're probably going to have that or want that. And you can also come down to things like shipping, the weight, the shipping class. You can really get into all of the different details here that you need in order to run your WooCommerce site successfully. So let's quickly update this and just see what that looks like on the page. Now, here we have it. We've got an immediate sale icon and you can see we've got that reduction. The price has changed really nice and straightforward to make that edit. Then back across in the editor here, back to the sidebar, the WooCommerce sidebar to products. If we want to add a new product, we can do so very easily. So let's click on add new product and then you're going to get that screen, but obviously completely blank. So let's create a new product. So I've got a specific bike that I'm going to add. And then what I can do is come over to this right hand side and set the product image. And this is the same as we've sh shown before. All you're going to need to do is either select an image from your media library or come across to upload files, select the file that you want and get that uploaded, set the product image. And immediately we're going to have that product image. We now need to add things like description and pricing, and we can start to get this onto our onto our uh, shop, onto our web shop. So I've put in my product description there. We're also gonna come down and just add a short description. So on certain screens, you're only gonna see the short description rather than the full one when you click into the product. So we want that to be very catchy. So we're gonna put that in there and then let's set the pricing. So we don't want this one on sale, just a regular price. We definitely wanna make sure that our product is categorized. So over here, you can see there are categories that have already being created and that we're already using. So we're going to use bicycles as a category. And I'm just going to add a new one, which I'm just going to call MTB or mountain bikes. Now I can give it a parent category such as bicycles. So it falls under that. And that seems to make perfect sense. So let's do that. And we are good to go. I'm now just going to publish this particular bike and show you exactly what it looks like. So you can now see we have our product and our own product page. You can see the short description that we added there, along with the full description that we added just down below. It's automatically added some related products and it fits in perfectly with the style of our website. Then if we head to the bicycles page, so this is the bicycles page that shows everything. There you go. It has also added this brand new bike to there as well without us having to do anything at all because we gave it the correct category. Of course, you can change and edit these categories. So we can come up here, go to edit category, 
and then we can change the name and all the ways, descriptions, how you can find it. And if you want to do that from the dashboard, from the WordPress admin dashboard, you can do so by coming across to WooCommerce products and categories. So now from here, just to check it out, we can go add to cart and add one item to our cart immediately populates our cart and then we can go through, we can go to checkout, we can pay. I've even got my own Stripe account set up in order to accept Google Pay and Apple Pay straight away. So you can see it here, check out faster. Again, this is all completely customizable to exactly what you want, but you've not had to put in an absolute ton of work and not a single line of code in order to be able to get here. However, I do understand that this is potentially for some people still time consuming to build from scratch and potentially still beyond what maybe some people are wanting to do or learn in order to get to where they need to get to. So what I would recommend is checking out WP Beginner Professional Services. I will leave a link down in the top pin comment. And essentially we have an entire team of amazing web designers who are going to be able to do this for you, make it to your exact specifications and also include all the tools that you need to make a high conversion site. It's really worth checking out if this is something that you don't necessarily want to or have time to spend doing. What I want to do now is I wanna go back across to that contact us page we were looking at earlier and address this contact us system just here, which essentially is not working at the moment. And one of the most important things that you need on any business's page, particularly on an e-commerce page, is some way for people to get in touch with you easily. And we're gonna do that using a forms plugin. So let's head back over to our WordPress admin dashboard. From the WordPress admin dashboard, we're gonna head over to plugins. We're gonna to go to add new plugin. And just in the top right hand corner here, we're gonna search for WP forms. That's gonna give us this option right here, which is exactly what we're looking for. And we want to install it. And then we want to add that to there and see, make it, see how easy we can make it for people to contact us. In order to do that, and if you want to follow along with me, then please hit this link right here and check out the video.